Escape rooms spread in every city some years ago. Then the board game industry boomed thanks to bringing the concept to people at home. But board games are limited cause the setup had to be the box and the exploring was only merely on paper. And both is exactly what video games can do better, provide a bigger setup and adopting the exploring of rooms. So, just like in a normal escape room, you enter the local store in the game and have to get out in a certain amount of time. It's not that hard, but then something is different and the cashier is gone, everything closed and you have to find a real way out. By this, you're discovering the Escape Academy and now are challenged in different missions. That is rooms to solve puzzles and there is even an overall arc and plot twists outside and inside the rooms. Pariahs. The puzzles are using the inventory on the right place, finding passwords, following hints, combining them and other classical stuff like chiffres or interpreting the environment. In any case, there are many that are offered. And it's not simply three or four all the time repeating. Impressive. And it's a lot of rooms you can play either. But then the fun unfolds when you think about real escape rooms where you can go with your friends. And that is exactly what you can do here. Just invite someone and you can play together via split screen seeing what the other one does and even helping each other in that way. Since you can look at a clue and your friend can solve the puzzle without walking to the clue as a reminder all the time. So you really get that feeling that you are playing together, working together, supporting each other like you would do <laughs> in a real room. Locks on the doors here. It's even a nice thing to play out your strength or hide your weaknesses. You're good in language stuff? Great. Maybe your friend is better in maths or combinations. Excellent. If the time limit expires, you can buy more time but will get a lesser good grade in your academy. And when you don't know how to go on, the hint system does a very good job giving you clues to solve the next step. In the end, you get grades, hopefully A or A+, when being in the time limit or not using any hints. And you can see a recap of your steps when you reached which goal. And so, you play together the single player campaign. But there is another multiplayer option really adding not only more content and rooms, but also new ways of playing. And this is the competitive mode, the versus mode, so to say, where you play in a tournament against your friend. Here you're in the same room, but your puzzles are color-coded, so you play only the red while the other one plays the blue ones. And they are exactly the same. You are. You can see the opponent in the room acting, but don't see him solving the puzzles. This is blended out. And there is no timer now but a bar that well, represents your progress, so you always know where you're standing. Of course, as well, here yes, new chambers yes. unlock and different kinds of puzzles have to be solved so that no one has a direct advantage, like if there would only be puzzles of one kind. This mode even expands the whole exit room topic, cause it adds something that you don't That's normally have in a real escape room and that is this kind of playing versus another player, like in a tournament. The online pairing works great. It's much easier than with most other games, but they also provide local multiplayer. But keep in mind that this is only a two-player game. Escape Academy is a fun solo or multiplayer puzzle game for escape room fans that either have played all in their city or don't want to spend that much money to play all real rooms. It does a great job and provides hours of fun. Rating the game in respect to the fun you get, if you like the genre, if you like escape rooms, if you play with someone else, I think it's 9 out of 10. Thank <laughs> you.
steeped in the tea kettle and live to tell the tale. <laughs>